this computer is out of use for a pretty long time. It's old, it's outdated and in this condition is not really useful nowadays. Hey what is up guys, I'm Andrew and in this video I'm going to make a few changes, few upgrades and I'm going to back this computer in function again. So this is what I got for beginning. This is pretty old computer. It's about a 15 years old and it's not in a really good condition. I got this computer with almost all components, just without a power supply. Also when I done the basic tests, the only part that is not working is the ROM. But however, this is not a big deal. First let's take a look at these computer components. I mean from where I've started. Basically this computer has a pretty low performance hardware. The motherboard is ECS or also known as Elite Group with Intel 478 socket and maximum supports 2GB of DDR1 RAM. The GPU is 64-bit 80 Radeon 9250 with 128MB of video memory. The CPU that was on this motherboard is Intel Celeron running at 1.8 GHz. As internet connection this computer used modem connection, but this is useless nowadays. But on the motherboard has standard internet LAN connection. As optical devices this computer has one CD and DVD rewritable ROM, which is in a functional condition and one floppy drive. And the final part is the hard disk. The hard disk is an old 4 gigs ID disk which is made in 2004, but is still fully functional. So with these PC parts I can't do really much and I'm going to make a few changes, but I'm going to use PC parts and other components that I already have. First I'm going to change the CPU. Instead using 1.8 GHz Intel Celeron I'm going to use the Intel Pentium 4, running at 2.4 GHz. The Pentium 4 has faster frequency, faster bus and this Pentium 4 CPU has a 4 times more cache memory than the Intel Celeron. The next, what I will going to change is the GPU. Instead using this 64-bit 128MB 80 Radeon, I will going to use the Nvidia FX 5500. This is 128-bit GPU with 256 megabytes of video memory. Also the Nvidia FX 550 has slightly faster memory and faster GPU chip. The next upgrade is the RAM. From non-working 512 megabytes of RAM, I will upgrade to 2 gigabytes of RAM. In this case the RAM is maxed out because the motherboard that I'm going to use supports maximum 2 gigabytes of RAM. And the last upgrade is the hard disk. On this computer I will going to use SSD. But wait, this motherboard doesn't have any SATA connections? No problem about that. In this case I will going to use ID to SATA converter. Using this converter I can connect almost any SATA disk including the SSD. But the only bad thing is I can't use the full speed of the SSD because the ID connection has oven limits. But however, this PC with SSD will work about 7 to 8 times faster than using the ID disk. Before I started with building this computer, I had to make one more change. Instead using this very old PC case, I am going to use my test PC case. The major reason because I am going to use a newer PC case is the motherboard holders on this very old PC case are damaged and simply I cannot mount the motherboard in the old case. But before I start with building, first I will going to spray paint this PC case. To spray paint this PC case I used Blackmate spray. And first I've started with painting from the inside of the PC case. I've started from the inside because the inside of the PC case is harder to paint than the outside and with this I will avoid overpainting. 
and the spray paint will look much better. And this is how this PC case is looking after painting. Now it's time to build this computer. And this is it. Now let's turn on this computer and make the final checks. So it looks that everything is working well and now let's move on Windows. At first I want to go with Windows XP, but the Windows XP is a little bit outdated nowadays and I've decided to go with Windows 7. But in Windows 7 I face with drivers issue. This motherboard and all hardware is made to support the older Windows versions, like Windows 98, Windows 2000 and Windows XP. In this case, to install the drivers and get all working, I had to use drivers from other but similar motherboard that support Windows 7. And for the GPU, I had to use drivers from Windows Vista. Also, during a setup, I had to use older mouse and keyboard. After I install the drivers, I done all necessary tests to be sure that everything is working well. And everything is working pretty well and all is much faster than I personally expected. Because I want to make this computer build more modern, instead using older and classic mouse and keyboard, I decided to go with something much newer. Like wireless mouse and RGB wireless, I mean Bluetooth mechanical keyboard. Also to connect the keyboard to this computer, I used a USB 4.0 Bluetooth dongle. Personally, I didn't expect that this keyboard will work with this computer, but the keyboard was successfully recognized, connected and it's working pretty well. Now let's move on the performance. Personally, I didn't expect some great results, but this PC build is much better and faster than I expected. Basically this computer is good for all basics. I mean using the basic softwares and other stuff like documents, listening music and web browsing. The web browsing basically is going pretty fast, but on more heavy pages, I mean on the pages where we have more animations, the lags are more noticeable but average. Watching videos on YouTube also is going good, but using lower resolution like 480p or 360p. The 720p videos are going good, but on some videos I can feel small lags. Now let's move on the gaming performance. Because this is a pretty old hardware, I cannot expect to run some new games. But older games are going pretty well. First, 
I started with one of my favorite games, the legendary GTA San Andreas. This is pretty old game, but this game is simply made for this hardware. The game on this computer is running pretty well, with pretty high and stable frame rate, but using an HD resolution. The next game that I test on this computer is the Minecraft. The Minecraft is a little bit newer game and at first looks like low specs game, but actually this game requests a little bit better hardware. The Minecraft on this computer is running with small locks, but generally the gameplay is going pretty well. The frame rate is low, but still playable and expected on this computer. The next game that I test on this computer is Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. The Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare is running better than expected. I play this game with mid settings and HD resolution and the game is running pretty fast and with pretty high frame rate. Actually the frame rate in the Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare is about 30 to 55, which is very surprising. And basically, this is all about this very old computer. This computer is pretty old, and I'm really glad because I back it in a function again. Basically, this computer is good for searching the web, using social media, and playing some older but great games, like older Call of Duty series, older Battlefield games, older racing games like Need for Speed, and almost all arcade games. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope this video will give some idea and inspiration. Also, if you want to support me to grow this channel, you can press the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.